Dr. Mindy here. I want to show you something that is really changing the way that my patients are approaching food. So I've been in practice for 20 years and so many people come to me for nutritional work and the number one thing that I hear is they say, I just can't stop being hungry. So you go and you say, hey, try fasting, try pulling carbs out. And the common response is, I'm addicted to sugar, I can't stop eating, I'm just hungry. So I want to show you how you turn off your hunger hormone because you actually have several hormones in your body that control hunger. So I'm going to try to make this as simple as I possibly can because I want you to be able to watch this in a couple minutes and then go apply it and, and get great results. So there, are, there is a, hung, uh, a hormone called ghrelin. And when ghrelin gets secreted when your stomach empties, so when your stomach is not full, it will start to secrete this hormone. This hormone goes up to the hypothalamus of your brain and it tells your brain, I'm hungry, eat. So your body, all of a sudden, you're like, oh my gosh, it's noon, I need to eat, it's seven o'clock, I need to eat, and you go off and you eat. So every time ghrelin goes down, hunger goes up. So there is three ways that you get ghrelin to stop going down and sending, or, or the, the secretion to go down and stop signaling the hypothalamus. So those three things are fat, protein, and ketones. If you're watching any of my Facebook Lives, you see a common theme here. So fat, protein, and ketones secrete the, or, or uh, signal the secretion of a hormone called CCK. CCK says, how about when that goes into our system, the stomach is not going to empty as quickly. So like when you eat a high protein meal or a high, especially fat uh, meal, what will happen is that your stomach does not eliminate the food out of your stomach as quickly. And when that happens, it changes the ghrelin levels, the brain gets a feeling that it's full, and it, that full feeling will last longer and longer. So if, let me put this into applicable terms. If you're eating a bowl of pasta, it has no fat, very little, very little protein, and as far as I know, it doesn't have ketones or stimulate ketones. So it's gonna go into your stomach, out of your stomach pretty quickly, you're gonna be full for a moment, and then you're gonna be hungry within a couple of hours later. Now, if you took some butter, if you put a meatball on top of that pasta, what would happen is you start to get some secretion of CCK, you turn off the hunger signals to the brain, and you're gonna find that you're gonna get a lot more, uh, I call it bang for your buck, out of that meal, where you're gonna be able that, to, to last a lot longer without those hunger signals coming back on. It's like a cookie, have you ever had a cookie? You love it in the moment, but then you know, within an hour you're hungry again, or a piece of candy. You love it in the moment, but you're hungry again. So if you wanna turn on CCK, stop getting the brain to perceive hunger, you've gotta be able to increase your good fat and increase your protein and increase your ketones. Now there's another hormone called leptin. A lot of people know about leptin, but what most people don't know is that leptin actually lives in your fat. So it's in your fat and it gets secreted, it goes up to that same place in the brain and it tells the brain, hey, I'm down here, you might wanna burn me for energy. When the brain re registers that leptin is there, what will happen is it turns off the hunger hormone, it turns off ghrelin, it tells the body, I'm not gonna eat right now because I got some fat down here that I probably should burn. It's a beautiful system, right? But how many of you, I hear this all the time where people say, I'm barely eating and I'm gaining weight. If that's you, then what's happened is that you are leptin resistant. And leptin resistant happens when the cells start to get toxic. When you get mercury, lead, glyphosate, mold, pesticides, herbicides, chemicals in our environment, chemicals in processed foods, chemicals in genetically modified foods, chemicals, molds that are in your, your house, molds that are in your carpets, all of this combined starts endocrine disruptors in your beauty products, all of this starts to block these receptor sites and the hypothalamus has no idea the leptin's there. And you're frustrated because you're trying to lose weight, you're barely eating anything and all you're doing is packing it on. And it sucks, it's not a fun place to be. So what do you do? There's really two things that you can control. You can control your food, like I mentioned, so you're gonna increase your good fat 
you're going to increase your proteins. And if you don't know about ketones, you can go back and look at some of my other videos I did on ketones. The second thing you're going to do is start to detox. So I've got three phases of detox that we do in my office that works really well. You can check out my book, The Reset Factor or The Reset Factor Kitchen, and there's some great detoxing in there. But if you want to lose weight, it is no longer restrict your calories, hop on a treadmill. If you do that, you might lose it temporarily, but you're always going to gain it back because you do not help any of these hormones. These three hormones have to be altered in order for you to lose weight permanently. So you've got to increase the fat and you got to start detoxifying. Every weight loss program has to have a, a, a version of it in there that is detoxifying. So uh, it's a really complicated system. I hope that was simple. Um, and I'd love to know if you guys are hungry, what you're doing to control your hunger. Just leave it in the, in the comment section. I also love to know if this is helpful. If it's helpful, just leave helpful in the bottom. That way I know that this is a subject you guys would like or enjoying. I'm getting a lot of people reaching out to me and telling me, thanking me for the Facebook Live. So if you're watching and you're enjoying, let me know. It, I just, that keeps me motivated to keep doing them for you. And if you want to hear more information, like specific information, let me know that too. So, hope you have an awesome day. Hope this is simple. Turn off that hunger hormone. And it's so amazing when you turn off the hunger hormone. You have so much time. You, your mind isn't wrapped around where it's the next meal. It's incredible. Hope that helps.